as consumers, we all had problems with, you know, $20 being taken away from our accounts, $50 being stolen from our credit cards. And we always had the ability to go back to our bank and say, hey, you know, someone's frauded me and get that money back. Now the cyber crime has found a softer spot where banks are not going to be able to help. Small to medium businesses who are losing 60,000, 100,000, 400,000 at a time from malware invasion. Malware, keyloggers or other kind of malware infecting small to medium businesses with online banking facilities and transferring money from their account to money mules. That's a new term called money mules, whereby the money is being then laundered through those money mules and thieves, the cyber criminals, getting access to it. It's not as, e as easy as a consumer ringing the bank and saying, hey, you know, that's what happened to me. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, worth of money here. Here's an example. It, Bullitt County in Kentucky lost $415,000. And the Western Beaver School District lost $700,000. Slack Auto Parts, a company selling auto parts, lost $75,000. So small to medium businesses who have got access to their online banking using computers are being targeted. Why? Because it's much bigger revenue for the cyber criminals and it's a much softer target. These people do not protect themselves as well as large enterprises do. So it's time to get small to medium businesses to use default deny protection. There is no reason why Small to medium businesses cannot use default deny protection and keep these malware fraudsters out of their businesses. Default deny protection is for small to medium businesses. You've just heard the thoughts of Meli Abdulhayolu. If Meli has provoked you on issues like security and trust on the internet, authentication, and malware prevention, Please visit www.melly.com for more.